Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to create a custom functions that is a procedures in Business Central. <clears throat> Before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page and here I will be uploading all the programs which I am explaining in the video so you can use it for your reference and please start this page and the next one is this is my blog here i will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner so you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you so you can just follow my blog by clicking here and uh, this is my youtube channel so you can see here that i'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks this is the agent of today's session that is we'll be talking about what is this uh, a custom functions that is procedures and what are the importance of that we'll be doing a simple program and a procedure to validate uh, that is we will be writing a procedure and i'll show you how to validate using that procedure how we can validate a field okay so let us start the first one is word introduction so what is the custom function or the procedure so the custom functions are an important concept in programming like as a developer <clears throat> When we start to program, so we make some algorithm or we make some step by step, a proper procedure like how to how it should work and how it has to execute. So and also as a developer, we should always consider about reusing the code. OK, so that particular reusability of the code will be uh, will be made easy, make easy if we use a uh, functions or a procedures. OK, so in every business central object where we use existing triggers and functions so wherever we create our own triggers so in any business central objects i'm talking about our page or table or report extension page extension so when wherever we can create a trigger we can create a procedure our own procedure or a, a functions with our own logic and code okay so we will uh, we i'll just show you how to create a function with parameter and without parameter and few may also don't know what is a parameter i'll also explain you but this is very basic uh, video so i'll be explaining what is function what is a procedure that is functions as well as a custom functions as well as a procedure and how to create a simple program with that and how to validate that okay and later the next videos are upcoming videos i'll be showing you how to pass the parameter and everything okay so the importance of function is what it is used to organize the program we can create self-explaining code, like whatever the code, if you wanted to write it, if you wanted to do it, if you wanted to make the, uh, change the logic, we can do it. Simplify the development process. It makes the code reusable and it reduces the errors and it helps to make modifications easier because we can easily just change that particular procedure instead of changing the complete entire code and reduce the size of the objects. Okay, the size of the objects too will be reduced. So let us go and uh, see the simple program where I'm going to write the procedure uh, on in a page. Okay, so I'm going to create a page here and I'm going to give a page ID as 50111 and let it be my page. Okay, so I'm not going to refer to any source table. Okay, I'm just going to just delete it. And as of now, I'm not going to use this layout because since this is a very simple program. So I'm just commenting it here so let us go to the actions okay before that i wanted to create a procedure okay so procedures since i'm going to create a procedure for this complete um complete this whole object so i'm just going to create it here so you can simply uh, type t procedure okay t procedure it will create a local procedure and with the procedure name if you wanted to change the procedure name you can change it or if you wanted to keep it you can keep it and here what i'm going to do is what i'm going to just add two number and display that okay so add two numbers so i'm going to use the my integer as well and in the begin i'm going to use my integer colon is equal to 25 plus 65 okay because i'm not going to pass any parameter the constant variable i'm just going to use it here and i'm going to print this as a message so my int okay i'm just going to print this as a message so i'm just going to use this and because since i want to format it because this is an integer 
I'm just formatting it. Okay, use a format and the procedure is done. Okay, I have created a simple logic here. Okay, I'm just adding and I'm printing it. So I wanted to call it inside the um, inside the action. Okay, that is inside the trigger. So I'm just naming it as a simple procedure. Okay, and then here I wanted to call it, right? So simple procedure. Okay, I have spaces here. So I'm just going to use it inside the double quotes. And since you can see here that uh, I want to call the function, this is function declaration. We have created the function, we have declared the function. I wanted to call the function. So how you can call? Simple, you can just use the procedure name to call it, okay? And this is what, whenever you are using a parenthesis, that is, we will be using a parenthesis for a function. <clears throat> okay, this format is a function. Okay, because here you can see format is a procedure. This is the built-in procedure. Okay, this is already written in Microsoft itself. Message is a built-in procedure. Okay, anything, any word which has an open and close parenthesis, you can see that that is a function. My int is not the function because it hasn't, it is not having any open and close parenthesis. Okay, on action is a function. Okay, you can see it's a local trigger function. Okay, area processing. This is a keyword. Fine. Okay, so these are all the functions which we are using. So it's a simple function and I'm going to execute this code. I'm going to use 50111, control S and control F5. You can see the function here. We'll be executing the code. We will just uh, see. Once if I click the action, that is a simple procedure action, you can see that it will add to the two values and it will print it in a message okay so what will happen you know like once this code is uh, executed then it will go to the action yes let it load so once if the code is loaded no it will go to the action okay so in the action this function will be called this procedure will be called this will take to this particular block and this complete code will be executed so the initial execution will not begin from the function part okay that is a um, custom function part it will proceed as such okay now here you can see this is my page and if i click the simple procedure action you can see 90 is the value of that is answer for that okay great so let us just go to the next one like i'm going to validate something right so as i as i told i'm going to validate so i'm going to use that validation here itself so i'm going to write it here in the var i'm going to create an variable called age and it is an integer okay so i'm going to enter this as an integer age as an integer and the local procedure i am going to validate it so i'm going to add uh, two labels that is text 001 as a label and uh, this should be a label and it will print that eligible to out eligible okay just i'm just printing eligible and i'm having an one more uh, text label that it should print not eligible okay so i'm just going to use label here not eligible okay so i'm just going to evaluate this because we already discussed about uh, if and else okay if is a condition you have to give some condition for this if age is greater than or is equal to 18 then then you have to definitely use then you have to print a message that is text 001 and else you have to print what error you have to print an error with a text message text 002 okay it's simple or you even you can just print it make this as a message itself okay so this is a simple and i am just making this into a <clears throat> called validation validate age age okay and somewhere i have to enter the age right i have to enter the age so i'm just uh uh <clears throat> and commenting this and here i'm just calling this age <clears throat> okay and uh, it will execute it will evaluate everything okay so this is what is going to happen so if i'm just saving it i'm and i'm executing it so i have actually written in the trigger okay so you have to use the trigger so i'm just typing 12 and if i go and click the trigger it will throw me that not eligible with the error okay if i'm typing 21 and i am using the 
eligible i am just using the trigger so what if we can do we can we can just try to write it here t trigger on on validate okay so even here you can call the procedure it's not mandatory that you have to only write it in the uh, action area okay i can even call it what is my procedure my procedure right my procedure okay you can simply call it here and you don't want to use this action that is a trigger and i'm just commenting it let us save this and let us execute it again let's see what's happening now okay i'm just clicking 12 it's showing validation result in, in in eligible it is not eligible and i'm pressing 45 it is showing eligible okay so as i discussed like you can use the procedure um inside the trigger okay in anywhere in the business object business central object or you can also make it as a trigger so uh, this is what all about for this particular uh, video so in the next video that is in the upcoming video i'll also be discussing about how to pass the parameter okay and also i'll discuss about the types of procedures you have okay what are the various types of procedures we have local global protected okay all these procedures we'll be discussing about and also pass by um, that is a procedure <clears throat> which you can uh, uh, use a parameter by value and reference okay pass a function like pass into a function everything we will just discuss about all these things okay thank you take care bye bye